Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolve news update. PS4 peoples, you would have got your update in the early hours of the morning or very late in the USA. And we've got good news and we've got bad news. So the 3.5 gig update fixed the problem with too many dinosaurs not coming out with status and crashing the dedicated servers. However, it created a brand new problem. As of right now, I don't think anyone can host a dedicated server without it crashing every time someone tries and joins the server. Jet had this to say it last night, Abstraction will be checking out the player settings not applying, Scorch Sky and the player Deddy Crash when it up in a bit. It looks like the player Deddy Crash isn't related to creatures like before, but perhaps connection. Still looking into it though. So alongside the dedicated issues, there is also problems with the player settings not saving and apparently Scorched Earth. So it is available now, it's 3.5 gig like I said guys, download it but then be prepared not to actually play it. So if you're getting this blue screen at all, just bear with it, hopefully according to Jack they'll try and look at it tonight as soon as they're up. Abstraction are a European based company so they should be up fairly early. So with a bit of luck, if they get the hotfix done and dusted, it could be released today but I would probably say by tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully. As ever, as soon as I get information about the actual fix working, I'll let you guys know if there's anything more substantial to it. Otherwise, if it's just a hot fix just for that issue, I will probably put a comment or a post on this video. And if you want to help out and actually fix the host settings, not saving, so apparently the multipliers aren't working correctly for player character as well as a bunch of other stuff. Jat has posted this topic here in bugs report and support on the forum site. So go ahead, if you know what individual ones aren't working, you can go and actually put whatever it is information you've got on this thing. It would really help out. The more information we give them, the more likely they're going to fix it quickly without any more extra issues. On top of that, there was one good thing in this update. I know lots of you are disappointed the tether distance was taken away. As I've stated many times, it was too unstable to keep on, and that's what the developers said but they are slowly increasing the range. So they've increased it by another 50 in-game meters. So it should be approaching around the 300, 350 mark. So where this leaves the Xbox dedicated patch, who knows? Xbox dedicated has been broke so long now and if the PS4 one has created another problem, let's hope it hasn't transferred. They're very different the way they connect their online multiplayers. So if it is an issue to do with connection, hopefully, hopefully it won't transfer. The Xbox version should be in patch now, should be in certification. It's just going to take a bit of a while. However, if you don't know already, the Xbox patches from now on are going to take at least a week to drop. Since going gold where it's on disc and it's ready to ship to retail stores, there won't be any short term you know, turnarounds. Unless it's maybe a hot fix that happens occasionally, it will take nearly a week or so to actually get the certification back. Oh, and there's my music for the PlayStation 4, just finished updating its update. So the earliest you're looking at this Xbox patch is next Monday, and, and I say earliest, it's still no guarantee, particularly if there's an issue with the PS4, so don't get your hopes up guys. There are some bug fixes and patch notes for this update, 5.10.3, I'm going to pick out some of the more important ones. Fixed an issue with Cave post, post processing in split screen, fixed an issue where various host settings were not being saved, nope that's wrong. Corrected the Apex Predator trophy description. Transferring between arcs in single player will now put you in the correct tribe. Player and team dead bodies now save on reload. Dropped item cache death caches now save on reload. Fixed an ascension crash related to split screen. And fixed players not able to unlock the artifact achievement. A few audio issues were fixed as well. And hopefully the problem that was causing lots of issues in terms of uh, creatures on player dedicated servers has actually been corrected now. It's just a case of trying to connect to it. Let me know if you're still having problems other than the ones I've just listed. There's no point in us all just crying about the same thing I've just told you guys. But if there's anything new you can let everyone else know in the community, please put it down. Or if you think you've found a little fix or anything like that, or please put it in the comment section. And of course, if you've got any information like that, go to the forum website. The link will be down below. 
It's a real shame this last update that we got after waiting so long for it had so much content in it I, I really did think it was inevitable there'd be some problems with it. But that doesn't help our people feel at the moment with their hosted servers. A couple comments I have seen have said load it up on different maps if you usually host it on the island try hosting it on a different map altogether. And again, the usual thing, hosting it on a different um, you know, game mode like Primitive Plus might help as well. And that is it, just a really short one today guys, just that bit of information. I'll be back tomorrow with a special video about mods on console. And why the hype over mods on console should not necessarily be hyped up too much. Until then, I'm Jay Plays Games, and I'll see you ratbags later.